What is going on guys, Tazwava here and welcome back to some more Minecraft Hardcore Season 1. Now, last time we left off, we were in the nether, found another fortress like right off the bat, found blazes, killed a blaze, got a blaze rod, and made a brewing stand. So now we can actually start brewing some potions and stuff, so that's going to be great. But for right now, I guess I'll just show you guys all the stuff I did between this episode and last episode. What I want to start out doing this episode though is our, our, our like chickens, our, our cows, and yeah, not really our sheep too much. They're, they're kind of getting out of control in terms of population and stuff. I feel like we have to kind of reduce the population a bit. I've already done a little bit of that off camera with the cows because it was getting so like impacted in there. I couldn't even, couldn't even really move around. <laughs> but you can see right now I've already breed a lot of them. We have a lot of little calves inside here, so that's good. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm mainly only going to kill the adults there. But for the chickens, I know it's kind of casual maybe just to say that out loud like that, sheesh. <laughs> But for the chickens, I think what I'm going to do is literally slaughter all of them whenever they're, you know, whenever they turn into adults. And then, of course, after we have literally zero chickens, I'll just, you know, throw down all these eggs. I've been collecting so many eggs that I'm sure we'll be able to get a, a sizable chicken population back up once, uh, once all the chickens are gone, you know. And then for the sheep, I don't know what I'll do about them. They're not really too high in the population just yet, so I don't think we really need to worry about them, to be quite honest. But over here, I turned this chest into a double chest just because I was running out of room. So we can put up some of the extra eggs inside of there. We already have a little bit of leather, a little bit of beef from the uh, the cows I slaughtered just moments ago off camera. Uh, didn't really do anything over here. But over here, I did some stuff. I made four double chests and uh, put down some science and stuff to kind of label them a little bit easier. Over here, I just have stuff. I haven't put anything in there just yet, but this is just for stuff I haven't, like, I can't really organize these other chests. Over here is items, kind of self-explanatory. Over here is valuable minerals. So we have diamonds, we have redstone, lapis lazuli we've got iron you know smelted iron all that kind of stuff even some random nether stuff like glowstone dust and quartz a little bit of coal right there prismarine crystals even some nuggets and stuff so you know it, it makes sense for that stuff over here armor and weapons so we have extra swords picks shovels a little bit of extra armor over here as well so that's always good and even the horse armor over here even my uh, turtle shell helmet and an extra saddle there too so starting to organize some things over there just because i have no room over here anymore and i, I just needed somewhere to not only store more stuff, but to kind of organize it too. And I'm sure you guys are like super crazy about that as well. <laughs> because I, I, I was getting crazy about it. I'm sure you guys would be getting crazy about it too. Sheesh. So I'm glad I did that. So all that's left in this like valuables chest is just, you know, a music disc, some TNT, milk, lava, some extra maps and stuff that we're probably not going to use in the, in the near future. Extra leads, puffer fish. I don't know why we have so many of those. But we have a little bit more leather right now, which is great because I wanted to make more books to continue working on the enchantment table thing over there uh, I did film some like background footage for my new channel update I don't know if it's going to go with the same uh, the same day as this or tomorrow or what but I basically went mining and found like eight diamonds also got uh, more obsidian and stuff like that so you know uh, now we can build those two other nether portals I wanted to build in the nether so I'll probably end up doing that off camera and then I'll, I'll come back and, and we can actually go through the nether portals and see what like biomes we actually end up in you know so for right now though I'm just going to place down the paper I think I got a comment saying yeah yeah you can make books literally in your inventory because you just need a two by two but uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I, I'm already at the craft station already. So there we go. We can make one more bookshelf out of this. So that's good. There we go. And of course, we're going to be able to make more here in just a moment once we uh, get rid of those cows, or at least all the adults. But for right now, let's place down the other one over here. And of course, I got some more lapis during that mining trip as well. Not like I really needed it, but I do need to remember that if I am going to be in... Oh, we have a book right here too. Huh. Do we want to enchant a book? Or at least see what we get. See what, like, the options are. At least we can get a sneak peek of it these days, right? So we'll put a bunch of heckin' lapis there. Sharpness 1. Sharpness 1. Projectile Protection 1. So I get Sharpness 1, apply that to my sword, and get a Sharpness 2 on the anvil. That seems pretty good. Seven levels? Ah, let's do this one. <laughs> It'll only take two lapis azuli and two uh, enchantment levels. So, yeah, let's do this one. There we go. All right. And now we have a sharpness one right there. I guess, can I keep the lapis in there? No, you have to, it, it like drops out of the inventory. Okay, well, let's go put it back up over here. So now we have that sharpness one. I'm actually kind of surprised that the uh, anvil hasn't broken just yet. Watch, it's going to break like right now, right? So let's put the, uh, there you go. Put that up there, that up there. Two levels for that. And boom, it's still alive. Somehow that anvil's still going, you guys. <laughs> I don't know how, but it is. And anyways, now we have a sharpness two diamond sword, which is great. So that's going to be great against uh, any critters that are attacking us. We'll be able to retaliate a little bit better. And speaking of such, I don't think we're going to be using that for the cows, though. I think I'm going to be using my uh, my iron axe just because I do not want to have that like little sweeping damage or anything like that, you know? Uh, by the way, if you guys are wondering, like, hey, can you breed the cows again, like, real quick before you slaughter them all? Well, unfortunately, 
Uh, well, I already did that one, but I also ran out of wheat, so I don't have any more wheat to actually do. Unless we have, like, well, we might have, like, one or two there that we can get, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, we, we already have a pretty okay amount of calves there, so it doesn't really matter if we miss out on, like, two or three calves here or there, but... Oh, gosh. Please, beefy, close your eyes up in heaven. Oh, gosh, what am I doing? I guess I have to start using the... Use the shovel. There you go. Just whack him in the face. <laughs> just so I can whack him in the face with like a shovel. Sheesh. There you go. Oh my god. It actually killed it there. And that one hit. <laughs> okay. Well, how's the population doing right now? It's still... It's, God, man. There's still so many of them. Look at this. How many have we killed? We went through two tools. An iron axe that was already like half broken. An iron pick that was like half broken. Now we're doing a heckin' shovel. There's still so many cows. This is what I'm talking about. This is why we needed to do this. There's so many over here. I don't even have any pigs. Jeez, I might have to start putting some of the cows over in the other area. I know I'm spamming right here, but it doesn't really matter. It's not like I'm going up against a hostile mob or anything like that, right? It's not these, like these cows are going to turn on me. Hopefully not. Because <laughs> uh, I turned on them, so it only makes sense for them to turn on me. Anyways, I'll probably be the last cow for right now. Yeah, we, we've got a pretty good cow pep. I'll, I'll, I'll keep the rest of these guys alive. So, yeah, that, that doesn't seem too bad. Looks like we wiped out a ton of them there, though, you guys. Sheesh. Let's grab some of these eggs, though. We're going to need these to bring back the chicken population once we literally kill every single chicken here. But uh, there are a few chicks here and there, and I don't want to kill them just yet because they can grow up, lay some more eggs, and help us out with that chicken population here in the future. Maybe we'll worry about it a little bit later. But for right now, let's go put up all their eggs, see how many more, uh... Oh, gosh, is that a zombie? Okay, no, it was just the uh, brownies diamond horse armor, which is dank, by the way, which we got last episode, too, which is awesome. Uh, I kind of want to go check out. Oh, and by the way, I made a lot of food. Oh, God. Two. Two. Oh, man, we're going to be testing out our new sharpness, too. Oh, God, he's... Oh, oh, do not go into my farm and trample the crops. Hey, dude. Man, look at that sweeping effect. We've got two heckin' gold armor... Full gold armor diamonds. Oh, why did I say diamond? Full <laughs> Two gold armor diamond... Uh, I said it again! Uh, two... Full gold armor zombies fighting him off with a diamond sword with sharpness too. Not bad. Couple sweeping effects there as well, which is awesome. That was a pretty good little uh, little test ride right there, honestly. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know what I was saying just a second ago. Oh yeah, I, I made a lot of pumpkin pie, cooked a lot of the raw fish that we had left. Is this cooked? Okay, let's cook salmon. Okay, just wanted to make sure, as I'm literally calling it cooked, right? But let's just get a little bit more sugar cane. We're going to need more sugar cane to get more paper and therefore more books. So, I don't think we're gonna... Yeah, we didn't miss any over there. I think... I, I don't know if I planted these or not. I think I might have... Yeah, I don't think I planted these on camera. But I planted even more of these sugar cane over here. So, we're, you know, getting more sugar cane as these grow up and stuff like that. But, I might want to go to bed real quick. Turn it to daytime. And then in the morning, we can make... I don't know, a couple more bookshelves or however many we can afford. Check up on the chicken population. See if any uh, chicks are still around. And uh, maybe we'll go back to the nether here in just a moment. Off oh, God! Another zombie! Woo! Woo! And he's... Oh, man, I thought he'd be dead right there. Man, he didn't die right there. I thought he would have... Oh, God, my... Uh, oh, God, another... Whoa, 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 zombie inside the heckin' Airbnb. How did my fox get inside there? Is he still tied up? I don't know. Looks like he's admiring the Nemo little painting right there. <laughs> and let's go to bed real quick. Wake up in the morning. And then, uh, let's see how many bookshelves we can make and see what enchantments we can get uh, as well, but for right now, there you go, sugar cane, turn this into paper, horizontally, jeez, and uh, let's turn those into books with all the leather, there we go, I, I have more leather than paper right here, you guys, that's good, so it looks like we can make three more bookshelves, I'm going to need more uh, wood though, and of course we'll have like one more book left over that we can enchant, and uh, see what we can get out of it, so that'll be great, anyways, uh, what in the world, what in the world just happened right there, what happened to my spruce logs? Whoa! Heckin' Enderman came into my inventory and stole my heckin' spruce logs. What in the world happened right there? That was crazy. That was no editing right there. Nothing. That was pure hacks. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, three more bookshelves right there, which is great because we're, we're slowly getting more and more of these uh, filled in over here, which is awesome. Because right now we only have two. Now we're going to have one, I think just two open slots, right? Or three open slots, yeah. So uh, slowly fill it in from the front to the back. Oh yeah, I need to add these uh, raw beef. I need to add those to the to the smoker over there, so definitely. Oh yeah, let's go grab some as well. And let's go over here to our really nice organized chest, grab some coal, and use that for fuel. So let's go over here to the sm I, I need to move these outside. Oh, I used uh, planks for fuel. I might as well continue using them. Uh, there you go, raw beef. There you go, noise. And oh yeah, what was I doing? Oh yeah, let's grab some of that. Don't need a full stack, but I'll grab it anyways. <laughs> Let's see if we can get out of this book, though. Is it going to be anything good? Maybe maybe, maybe something for armor? Let's see. Uh, 
Respiration one. Efficiency one. So we can give that to our pick and make it a efficiency two. I'd, I'd rather have an unbreaking than an efficiency. That's what I mean on that. And it seems like... How do we reset this? Can we even reset this? I don't know how we can reset that. I'm going to take everything out of there. Put it back in. Efficiency uh, projectile protection. What do we have on our... Uh, we have regular protection in two and thorns two. I don't think projectile protection... Oh gosh, aqua affinity on this thing. And, and, and projectile protection three! Hmm, I wonder if you disenchant things. I need to look into that. That'd be pretty cool if you could, though. Get some pretty good enchantments from that, just from a heckin' zombie overnight. Anyways, see if there's anything here. Yeah, I think it's the same stuff. Yeah, respiration. Efficiency. I don't want to give it to my... Although it'd be great for... And it's only two lapis, two enchantment levels. Maybe like one or two more levels at the anvil. Let's do it. What is it? Well, who cares? Who cares? Let's just give it to our pick. It'll be good for mining the obsidian a little bit faster. Just a tiny little bit faster, right? If we accidentally place it down somewhere it doesn't need to be, you know? So there we go. So, oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. I was about to put up the coal, but yeah, we need to use that over here. Uh, not quite yet, though. It's getting a lot of steak out of this, which is great. Anyways, let's see. Handhold. Is it going to break this time, though? Let's see. I need to put that on the second slot. Although, I don't know if it actually matters, but two more levels right there. And it's going to be efficiency two. The anvil still stands. How many? Man. How long is that going to last? Is that going to last like the whole heck of series? I don't even need to make like a replacement anvil or something. Jeez. Anyways, I'm going to let those cook. And for right now, I think what I'm going to do is pause the recording. Go to the nether. Go place down the two. Oh, yeah, yeah we can put that in there. That doesn't matter. Go place down the two other nether uh, portals that I wanted to place down. And uh, it, we can go through them and see where we actually end up. And it looks like we have four more slots there we need to work on. I don't know if I'll actually work on that any off camera. I guess it just depends on how fast our sugar cane grows over there, right? And oh yeah, and then by the time we come back, maybe all these chickens... Yeah, I see a chick right there. Maybe all the chickens will be adults and we'll just slaughter them as well or something, you know? So, for right now, go to pause the recording. And I'll see you guys here in a bit with another nether portal. And we'll see where it ends up. So, I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Uh... Um... <laughs> you guys... I need to get to Z number 124 to build the next nether portal and look and look at where I'm at. This is <laughs> this is a pretty dangerous, uh, treacherous area I just dug into. I'm literally just blocks away from. Oh my gosh! I'm literally floating right there. I'm shifting over the edge. <laughs> oh my gosh! And here we go, 124. This is where we need to build it. Or on 125, I guess you could say, because it was built on 124. And I don't know, you know, it doesn't need to be exact. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but... Oh my gosh. If you guys are afraid of Aconites, I am so sorry. Jeez, okay. Just for safety's sake. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build... Here we go. This little, little, little... Railings, I guess you could call it here just to make sure I don't fall over the heckin edge and die there we go oh my gosh here we go which one is this one yeah here's 25 so I guess here's where we could build the portal <gasps> magma slimes we need those for potions I don't know what potions exactly uh, I'm not seeing any ghasts right now thankfully I don't know if that's down there that's probably just some weird natural structure huh I don't think it's anything significant my gosh, seems relatively quiet here. A little bit, a little bit too quiet, if you ask me. Okay, <laughs> let's get rid of this. Please don't. Oh, I don't know if a gas is like below me or what. But uh, one, two, three. There we go. And uh, oh gosh. <gasps> oh man, he wasn't there just moments ago. Hold on. I don't know if this crossbow is going to have some. Okay, he just floated away. That's good. Okay, let's... Oh my gosh, I am so... Jeez. Ooh, let's place that. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can finish this. Ooh! Oh, it just... Just went outside of render range. Okay. But uh, now I need to... Oh, I guess I couldn't just place it on... Oh, yeah, I couldn't do it because the ceiling's one, one more block away. There we go. Oh, jeez. Need to do another block here. I, I need to do. Jeez, oh my gosh. There we go. Actually, that's that's the wrong thing. That needs to be obsidian. But this one also needs to be obsidian. I place that there so I can place an obsidian here. There we go, okay. Now, final block. Ooh! Where is this? I don't know. Kinda wanna get rid of these so I can jump. Where is it? Where in the world is this? 
I'm hearing. Oh my gosh! Look at all that soul sand down there, you guys. It's gotta be like below me or something, huh? I can clearly hear it, like right next to me. I just don't see it. But there we go. I guess uh, I can I can make this one more wide, huh? There we go. That way I can go through the entrance and of the uh, of the nether portal. Maybe make this out. I don't have cobble. Yeah, I don't have cobble. Man. Okay, whatever. Here's the railings. It's gonna hopefully protect us. And then I kind of want to make the other side, uh, just fill that in with heck and netherrack. That way I don't have to worry about that thing. Oh gosh! Gas right there. Here we go, just fill that all in. I don't even care, I don't even care. <laughs> there we go. Just fill it all in, Ada. Fill it all in. Make sure it does not get destroyed. Although, if this gets hit by, by an one singular gas, it's probably going to get destroyed instantly. But, let's light it up and let's see where we end up, you guys. Boom, another nether portal right there. Doesn't need to be exactly 100 blocks, but whatever. Let's get rid of that for right now. Let's see where we end up. Let's get our sword out just in case. Where are we going to end up? Hopefully somewhere good. Hopefully somewhere we have... Oh, gosh! What in the world? Is that... Oh, that's water! I was wondering, like, what in the world is that? It looks weird. Uh... XYZ? We're at four... What?! We basically just spawned in at, at diamond level. Oh my gosh, if we if we're like right next to heck and diamonds. Look at that, there's another water source right there. I'm trying to see if there's like diamonds in the background. I don't see anything. That was just like a, a fog through the render range or whatever there. Do I have a bucket? Oh yeah, I do have a water bucket on me. I guess I could use this to scoop up the water. That's kind of cool. I didn't even know that you could still spawn in like in caves and stuff. Like we were at uh, Y axis like 90 something. In the nether, though. Where in the world is this, uh, source block? Where is this source block at? I have no- Oh, is it- a Oh, it must be up here, then, uh. Oh, gosh, we're under- Oh! Uh, I guess we found it- Oh, gosh. Yeah, we found, like, an underwater cave here, you guys. Oh, gosh! I need oxygen, right? Ooh, jeez, there's so much water everywhere! Thankfully, we have netherrack. Let's get rid of the water. Yeah, we can't just- patch up a singular source block, you guys. Because there's source blocks, like, all over that good place. We need to patch all this up. Okay, so we, we spawn, like, literally, like, an underwater. Like, the exact opposite of what happened last time. Uh, let's go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I assume the same thing happened here, huh? Literally just water all over the place. Oh, uh, yep. Yep, build in over here, too, with water. Man, that sucks. Uh, I guess if I want to just get rid of the water, I could just do this. There you go. All right, now how are we going to patch this up, though? What's all this? I don't have too many torches on me. I, I did spend... Ooh, more water? Man! Did we just end up in, like, a terrible... Like, I thought it'd be a great location, because, yeah, we're literally at Y14. We could find diamonds near this level. Well, they, okay, here we go. Here, this is an actual source block right here. Okay, that's good. I do hear diamond. Or, uh, geez, I wish I could hear that. <laughs> oh, I can hear the sparkling in my ear. But I'm hearing zombies right now, though. I think I have an extra iron pick. Yeah, I have an extra iron pick, just in case. I just don't know where these zombies at or I'm, uh, that I'm hearing right now. A little bit of iron right there. I just went mining before I started recording today. I guess I'm going, going mining again, huh? That's why I access 18, so don't really want to go there. You want to keep this lit up, make sure nothing spawns over here. But how are we going to deal with this situation? At least we have a little bit of redstone right there, huh? I guess if anything, we could do... Oh, no, that's iron. Uh, if we find, like, a sponge... We could use that over here. I think you could find them in, like, water temples, right? I think so, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, what is it? Oh, yeah, okay, it just didn't render that way. Okay. I guess this is one way we can come. If we have, like, sponges and stuff, we, we can maybe find some diamonds over here a little bit later. But for right now, kind of kind of uneventful. I'm hearing zombies and stuff over there may have... Uh, oh, yeah, there is redstone there. There may be, like, a, a spawner over there or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think there's... These are water source blocks right here, too, so... Can't really get rid of those, unfortunately, man. But what about over here? Don't want to get... Ooh, don't want to go straight into in lava! Where's my bucket? Where? Oh, Just trying to get rid of the lava, though. It's because this water didn't... Okay, there we go. Nice. See so if we can find a, uh, diamonds here. If we can do... Oh, gosh. Well, there goes that pick. <laughs> See if we can find any diamonds. That'd make this trip definitely worth it, but I'm kind of thinking about going back to the nether and building in the other direction. Now, if you guys don't know what direction I went, because I, I don't think I showed or anything like that, I went the opposite direction of the nether fortress from last episode, so this last direction we need to go to 
we'd need to be going towards the nether fortress and that'd be kind of treacherous and I'm definitely down to go on an adventure that way you guys so let's do it we have one more iron pick I didn't make an extra I just made two one of them just broke so might as well just go that way especially because that way is probably going to be filled out or up it's going to be mostly empty this way I, I dug mostly through the ground but thankfully uh, can I fill this in up here too let's try it I wouldn't have to worry about anything Maybe, maybe the guests won't even see me if this is all plugged up here. Yeah, here we go. All right, look at that. Just at the end of the heckin' tunnel here, boom, there's a portal. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah, I wanted to make signs. I forgot to make signs. Man, now if there's an abandoned mine over there. I could have got a little bit of wood, made some signs out of it, but nope, nope, didn't find one. Well, there probably was, but I, I didn't find it, actually. <laughs> Anyways, I, I guess I can get some of the quartz. Just get a little bit of levels back, because we did spend a couple levels earlier on in the episode to enchant some stuff, and it was definitely worth it, but might as well get some of the levels back, especially because quartz is so easy to, to mine, and you get so many experience points from it by just basically doing nothing, and it's just so, like, frequent <laughs> in the nether. It's I, I'm pretty sure you guys said, yeah, the quartz is like the only ore currently in the nether still. They haven't had anything new just yet, so yeah, it's it's all over the heckin' place. So, oh, whoa! I hope a pigment didn't hear me. <laughs> But look at this heckin' vein over here. I'm getting so I think I was like level 22. I'm, I've already gained another level. I almost gained another two. Oh, whoa, what's this? Oh, it's just, uh, must have been another rack I accidentally broke. Super duper fast with my iron pick baseline. Iron. Look at this. It's still going. And we gained like two levels. I'm gonna be gaining like two and a half almost or something. Sheesh. Just from that one vein. Alright, let's build another portal like here, I suppose. And then I guess, I guess we could always continue building more and more nether portals, you know? Uh, oh, let's do it like this. There we go. We can continue building more and more nether portals. Uh, like further out. It doesn't, we don't have to like stop right here at the 100 block mark. We could probably just build them randomly. It doesn't even matter, you know. But let's carve out a little bit more of this nether act. Make it a little bit easier. There we go. Same thing above as well. Just because why not? And let's, let's put a torch back here. Just because why not? And let's light this baby up. Let's see where we end up here. Hopefully somewhere good. Because we ended up above an ocean. We ended up below an ocean in a mine. Are we going to end up anywhere good this time? Hopefully. Jeez. I've been putting too much effort in this. <laughs> and we've been basically ended up... Uh, the first area was good. Ending up in the mountains right next to the heckin' roof forest that I wanted to end up at. Oh, gosh. Are we back home? <laughs> That'd be crazy if we just ended up, like, straight up at home, you guys. Sheesh. I don't think so. Uh, it's like the same... Oh, gosh. It's like the same biome, but, uh... I do not... I do not remember the exact coordinates of our base. But this is like the same biome. If this is the heckin... If we're like right next to the heckin village... Oh, I guess I might as well get the map out, right? Because I did have this map a couple episodes ago and never even generated it because I was above the ocean. Let's see where we end up here, though. Uh... I don't know. I guess if, if I want to explore, I can go this way. But... Uh, how am I going to find my way back to this portal? I don't know. If I look at this map, get rid of the shield temporarily. Can I find that portal? Okay, I can. It's like a black, small black line on that map. They're on the right, center right side. So, that shouldn't be too hard. But I, I guess we can go this way real quick. Just kind of adventure around, see where we end up. Spruce forest over there. Of course, we're in a spruce forest right now, but it's a different kind. With like pods all and stuff. i uh, probably get rid of the uh, XYZ meme here in just a moment. There you go. And I'm almost outside of the map already. What is this, though? What is this thing? Is that just a... Like, right here. What is this? Is that gravel? What is gravel? Okay, it's gravel on the... It looks weird on the map, though. Alright, let's continue going this way. We almost hit the edge. I'm going to have to, like, get the cartography table. Add a piece of paper to this to make it a little bit bigger. It's kind of what I wanted to do the other one, though. Nothing over there? Really? Did we really end up, like, basically nothing interesting? Seems like it. Oh, gosh. Wolves. That's cool. Wait, hold on. I felt like this was familiar for a second. I was thinking, like, that one uh, place, you know, where we left the Surf Squad, I, it, it kind of makes me feel of that place, but I don't think it's that. I, or else I would have seen the watchtower there. There's a weird cliff. <laughs> but here we are in a regular forest right here. This is regular oak forest. Uh, not seeing anything substantially new, honestly. Just a regular oak forest there. I don't think there's anything over there. Just mountain areas over here. Don't think that's a desert, though. Right there. I doubt that's a desert. I don't think there's anything interesting there, you guys. I mean, unfortunately, this nether portal thing hasn't really been working out too well, honestly. At least we're getting some more, uh, 
some more sugar cane. That's always good, right? But even more over there. God, look, look at all the sugar cane. I can make a bed. I definitely want to make a bed. Or a, well, I guess I want to make a bed too. Probably should have bought brought a bed, but don't want to accidentally sleep on it in the nether. But at the same time, kind of want to make a boat so I can traverse this a little bit real quick. Maybe I will. I'm like, we have a tree right there. Might as well cut it down. I don't have a, uh, an axe because, of course, I heckin' broke it, killing all those uh, those those cows early on in the episode. So, I guess we're just gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Just punch this tree until it cuts down. Let's make ourselves a uh, crafting bench out of that, and. Uh, boom, there you go. Crafting table, and I think I should be able to make a boat right now, right? Just out of this. I kind of went, oh! And boom, there you go. And I kind of want to make an extra one, too. So we have a spruce boat right there. Kind of want to get the rest of this. Uh, it seems like we have a pretty good amount of daytime right now. I think the sun's like, I don't know, it's like maybe 3 p.m. or something like that right now, so... Uh, we have a little bit of daytime. Don't need to really worry about going to bed just yet. But of course, we need to remember which way we're, we are right now. Let's make an extra boat just because... Uh, eh. I don't think we need to get an extra boat. I'll just get the crafting table. If I need to make an extra boat, I can afford one. But for right now, let's just kind of traverse this way while we still have some daytime. Just kind of see what's over here. Just because, ah, man. I'm like, I guess we could, in that cave, we could just kind of dig up and see, like, what's above us. Because if we ended up in a cave, there might be actually something above on the surface that's, you know, worth checking out. Some fish right there. Uh, more spruce. Golly, there's spruce all over the place. Man, this, this map really loves heckin' spruce. By the way, off camera, I think I might have found a, uh, some sea pickles. I kind of want to investigate that. Maybe I'll do that a little bit later. Oh! I wonder if I'm going to find the heckin' portals floating above us, you guys. But it looks like we have a, a coral biome here. Yeah, 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 look at this! Found a coral biome! Another one, of course. One of the nether portal areas took us, like, right above a, what looked like a coral biome. Is that another boat? Uh, my, I think that's a boat right there. What about that? That's kind of got a point going on right there. It looks like an upside-down boat. But uh, down here we have some coral. Kind of want to investigate this. Unfortunately, we don't have our armor. Uh, where's our... What in the world? Oh, gosh. The boat was invisible there. Sheesh. Kind of want to go under here and just kind of... I know I don't have, like, the right stuff. Oh, I can break uh, some of this. I wonder if I can find... Oh, yeah. Literally, right here is sea pickles, right? Are these sea pickles? Or sea coop... Oh, look at that. We got the, like, the lime green dye little uh, icon there. Looks like some of the pickles are coming up above the- Oh, jeez, there we go. Coming up out the water. Let's grab them. Uh, yep, sea pickle! Hey, nice! So, look at that! Like, right when I was like, oh yeah, I want to go investigate if those are actually sea pickles, I find some actually, like, right there. Is there anything else under here, though? I don't know if I can actually mine any of this stuff. Maybe I do with a- with shears or something. But look at this! We found what looks like a coral- Oh, what is that? A coral biome or something. I guess that's just, like, yellow coral or something, huh? Can I mine that with a- Here we go, here we go. Oh, I could probably get my diamond pick out, huh? Try that here in just a moment. It's probably be better for mine under the water a little bit faster because it is efficiency too. And unfortunately, I don't I don't have any uh there you go. I don't have any uh other underwater enchantments to give it, you know. But for right now, let's get some more of these just because why not? Get ourselves a little bit of coral, just as kind of a souvenir, just breaking the environment. There we go. Get a little bit more oxygen. And it is getting a little bit dark outside, unfortunately. A little bit of blue coral over here too. Ooh, interesting. I'm gonna break some of this real quick, because it is super interesting. There we go. This is the first time I've seen, like, vanilla coral in Minecraft, you guys. I'm liking it, though. There we go. I think some of it's floating up. Yep, some of it's floating up to the surface. What is that? Is that cobblestone? Does it just turn into cob- Dead- Oh, it's dead now?! Man! Oh, how do I get it while it's alive, though? I probably need something special for that, then, huh? Well, that sucks. What is that, though? Oh, there's trees. Literal trees. Alright, well, I kinda wanna- Where- where- where was the capsized boat at? Uh... Uh-oh. I don't remember where I just came from. Uh... This is kinda bad, you guys. Did we come from over there? Uh... I don't know, I kinda wanna get that map out and just kinda look at it. Oh jeez, I don't even see myself. Uh-oh. This is bad- <laughs> This is bad news, bears, you guys. Uh... I didn't really... Go out too far, did I? That looks like a capsized boat right there. If that's the case, we might have come from this way, but I don't remember those hills there. So maybe we came from this way? Oh gosh, this is, <laughs> this is, this is getting really bad. Oh, well there's a- No, that's not a capsized boat. Man. Really should have had like a landmark or something. Maybe over there. Maybe that- is that where we came from? <laughs> I don't know! Oh jeez. I guess I could look at my footage and find out like the XYZ we were at with the nether portal and stuff, but... Uh... I just... I don't know what- Oh gosh! Whoa, 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 what's happening? 
What happened? Something happened to me? Let's get rid of that. I had like a weird effect. Is it the sea pickles? I don't know what just happened to you guys. I'm very concerned about that, and it is getting dark. Thought it might have been a heckin' like a, a water zombie or something, but I guess not. I don't know if I'm getting further away or, or what, but we had we had something that just like attacked us, or, or so it, it might have been the rotting coral or something. I should definitely watch out for that. Oh man, the clouds just changed right there. I don't want to look at the map. See if I appear at all. Golly, this was a bad idea. I should not have explored this area here, you guys. Oh, yeah. There was an island. We just... I just cut down some trees. <gasps> yes, right there. Yes, that's the tree I just cut down. It's because the leaves are not done decaying. Okay. Let's go this way. This is where we came from. Oh, my gosh. Glad I remember that. Or else I, I, I don't know if I would have gone this way. I'm like, I was already going this way anyways, but I might have just circled around and gone some other direction. Sheesh. All right, well, let's keep going this way. Until I hit, like, that gravel, I was all confused about, like, oh, man, that gravel looks kind of weird, eh? Or something. Got a little bit of spider right there. Or... Was it this way? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm on the map. I think I'd maybe go this way. Is this... Oh, there's a spider. There, oh, there's wolves. Is this where we were just moments ago? I don't know. I'm, forget about the boat. Forget about the boat. There's wolves there, which is good. Because I'm pretty sure we saw wolves just moments ago when we were over here. Oh, gosh. It's so icky dark. I still don't see me on the map. There's a creeper right there. That are, two creepers right there to the left. Almost said right. Okay. Keep going this way. I think this is it. <gasps> yes, I'm on the map. I'm on the map. I see myself on the map. Oh my gosh, yes. Let's keep going. Just go, just go, just go. Forget about the creepers, the zombies and stuff. They cannot keep up with me because I'm fast as heck. Let's keep going. I see the nether portal. I see the torches I put on the nether portal. Man, I am running towards another portal right now, you guys. I can't wait to go to the nether. <laughs> let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go home. Oh, jeez. Thought we'd end up a little bit of better location than that, but honestly, can't really complain too much, I suppose, huh? Anyways, let's just go back. Man, look at this. This does not feel like a hundred blocks here, you guys. I guess it is. Sheesh. That'd be like way more than that. Maybe it wasn't a hundred. Oh gosh, random Enderman in the Nether. What in the world? Aren't they like rare? Uh, two? Two Endermen in the Nether? Uh, if I remember correctly, aren't they like rare? And why is there two of them like right next to each other? <laughs> maybe I'm maybe just thinking of something else, but aren't they supposed to be, you know, in the end? Anyways, at least we ended up in the portal or, you know, the correct portal when we came out that way. Sheesh. Anyways, I guess we could check up on the chickens. See if we can slaughter them yet. Uh, I'm not seeing like any chicks. I guess we can slaughter them, you guys. Are you guys ready to do a Oh my gosh. Look at all these chickens. I'm gonna get so many heckin' like eggs right here, and I'm gonna get so much like feathers and, and raw chicken and stuff. And I'm I'm genuinely curious, how many chicks are we gonna get from all the eggs that we picked up and all the eggs that we're picking up? Oh my gosh, and even more eggs are being hatched right now or laid. Anyways, start slaughtering these guys. Oh my gosh, is it, should I even be doing this with a diamond pit or a diamond sword? I don't know. Kind of seems like a waste. Actually, you know what? I could get some. Oh my god, I, that'd be evil. To get seeds to lure them towards me and then start slaughtering them. Jeez. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'm. Am I that savage? Am I that savage? Let's do it. Oh my gosh. But our, our diamond sword has good durability. I don't think we need to worry about it, right? Well, let's. Let's. Oh gosh. Oh. Hold on. What am I doing? Am I dumb? I have. A, I. I can. I have flint and steel in my inventory. I could just do this. Oh my gosh, and lure them into the egg fire. Here we go, here we go. Oh god, they're on fire! Oh my- oh, they're- they're smart though! Well, some of them are! <laughs> and of course, when they die, they should give me- yep, yeah, look at that! They, they're giving me cooked chicken there, you guys, that's good! Hey, look at that fire right there! That fire is so crazy, isn't it there, chickens? Watch, I'm gonna run into the fire and I can get a little bit of a taste of my own medicine, right? Jeez! Hopefully this doesn't burn down the whole village. Okay. Man, well, at least that's killing some chickens without, you know, killing some of my, uh... I thought I saw something over there, something spooky. 
Why are these guys not following me right now? Is it because there's fire? And they're just like so spooked out by it, maybe? Look at that, they're like, like the heckin' partying the Red Sea right there, you guys. Of all the chickens going around the fire. Like, they have, I, I thought they were dumb, but they, they seem to be pretty smart. <laughs> oh, look at all the chickens. There's still so many of them. Some of them are burning, though. Some of them are burning. I'm gonna try not to burn. Oh, God. Just burnt myself right there for a small little singe. Try not to get the fire too close to my wood uh, fences, though. Let's try and bring them into the fire. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I thought they'd actually go into the fire, but I guess not. Man! Well, I might as well start slaughtering them with the actual sword, then. At least it did kill a few of them. actually gave us some of the cooked uh, cooked chicken whenever they died, which is awesome. But, man, it seems like these chickens are a lot smarter than I thought. <laughs> they outsmarted me. There we go. Oh, gosh. Why can't... Oh, lag, lag. Whoa! Whoa, weird lag right there. Sheesh. All right, well, all the fire's gone. Man, I'm... <laughs> I'm just curious, how many, how many chicks are we going to get out? Look at this, I'm, I'm getting like, like collateral chicken killings right here with the sword. I'm not even seeing like any durability missing from the sword though, so that's good. I thought we might have been seeing like a small little tick missing from the sword's durability, but I'm not seeing anything right now, which is good. Alright, well we only have a handful of chickens left. And I'm going to be spamming down so many egg and eggs here in just a moment. I've picked up like literal hundreds of eggs throughout who, who knows how many, like four or five episodes or something like that by now? Sheesh. Anyways, the final chicken. Yep, that's the final chicken gone. Looks like all of our cow are our, our, our cows. <laughs> Looks like all of our cows are adults now, so that's good. Anyways, let's go grab all the eggs. Go throw them all down on the ground. See how many chickens we get out of that. But uh, let's put all those up for right now. Man, I've got a lot of resources on me. I do need to eat some stuff too. How much cooked? Oh, we got 34 cooked. That's actually not that bad. I thought we only get like maybe a dozen or something like that. But getting 34 cooked chicken from that, that's actually pretty good. Although I feel like I might have... No, I don't think I killed any chickens. Yeah, I, I did kill a couple chickens and I think I might have cooked them beforehand. Because uh, I accidentally left a gate open and some of them did escape so I had to heck and kill them. So there's that. Anyways, let's put up all this extra stuff we ended up getting. Uh... And a little bit of nether quartz right there. I have the soul sand, I have the nether wart and quartz right there just for uh, easy access and stuff. But for right now, let's kind of clear out our hot bar. Just so we can put a bunch of heckin' eggs down there. There we go. And get rid of the torches too. And can I use sea pickles like above ground? Is this a thing I could do? Oh, ew, it made like a weird slime sound. I don't know. Just kind of sitting there. <laughs> I don't know if I can do anything with that weird just, just a pickle just sitting there. <laughs> I love the word pickle. Oh man, look at all these eggs! Oh jeez, let's do it in the daytime. I can hear a zombie. Where is it? Oh gosh, there he is right there. He's trying to zombify me. You zombified all my villagers and I'm gonna heckin' kill you for that hater. Let's get out of here. Let's go to bed. Let's go to Slumber Town. Or Slumber Village. Because, you know, village is Minecraft. And let's go to bed, wake up in the morning, and let's go throw down all those heckin' eggs. I don't even have the inventory space for all those eggs, guys. Sheesh. Let's throw all, uh, let's throw those in there. Feathers. Uh, anything else I could throw up there? Rotten flesh, sure. Uh, sure gain, pretty decent amount right there. An extra crafting table, I guess I'll put that up over, yeah, in the stuff chest. And that'll probably be good for right now. So we can get all the, ch I doubt we get all, yeah, we can't even get all the eggs still. Yeah, look at that, still a couple more stacks right there. I still need to grab, but look at all these heckin' eggs here, you guys. I, I could make a lot of pumpkin pie, but place your bets. How many chickens, how many chicks are we going to get? We have four right now. Didn't get any right there, wow. Four, five? Jeez, five, six. Whoa, man, only six, seven, eight, only eight. Only eight out of all those eggs right there. Are you kidding me? How many is that? Five times 16? Jeez. Only eight still. Eight, nine, ten? That might be 10, 11, 12, maybe? 13, 14, 15, 15. 16 maybe? It's so hard to tell because there might be a chick that like runs right in front of you and you hit it with an egg and you get confused, but whatever, I, I'm just, I'm, if you guys want to keep track, then feel free to do that in the comments, but I, I'm losing track right now. I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> I'm mainly just going to look at the like overall number of all the chicks and look at this. We already have a lot of chicks right now. Jeez, I'm not going to, uh, honestly, when all these guys grow up and, and we breed them all, we're probably going to have to heck and slaughter them all over again. <laughs> Jeez. All right, well, now we can get rid of all the last of the heckin' eggs over here. Jeez, I had so many eggs. If you guys want to, you, you can rewind the video and count how many heckin' eggs I had. I had so many eggs. Jeez. And look at all the chicks we have. Man, that's actually a pretty good amount of chicks. I thought we'd have, like, maybe, I don't know, like, two, three dozen. We might have, like, I don't know, three, four, five dozen or something like that by the time I'm done, maybe. I don't know. Uh, there you go. I'm like, we had, like, 16 or something like that before I lost count, but there you go. That's all the heckin' eggs we have right here. If you guys want to 
pause the video, count how many chicks we have right here, and leave a comment down below, then hey, feel free to do that, because that's, there's way too many chicks right there I want to count, like, in the video, but for right now, this, this video is probably way too long. <laughs> I'm probably going to cut out a lot of the boring, laborious trash, though, but either way, uh, oh, we could probably make a few more bookshelves and finish that real quick while I'm kind of doing the outro, but for right now, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, that'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out, so you do not miss an episode. Let's see how many, uh, books we can make out of this, though. Oh gosh, I'm messing this up. There we go. Looks like we can make six more books and, uh, two more bookshelves out of that. Uh, let's grab the spruce. And we're still going to need, I think, two more bookshelves to finish the first layer, though, so that kind of sucks. But let's go finish this bookshelf. Ah, let's do this side over here. There we go. Let's do that one. There we go. And there we go. Put another one there in the middle. So now we just have a cobble here and here, and that'll be the bottom uh, bit of the bookshelves done. All we have to do is this top bit, and then we'll be good to go. Well, hopefully we're going to get the best enchantments, but for curiosity's sake, uh, I don't know. If... Well, let's go check up on the sugarcane farm. We might be able to make another book slash bookshelf and enchant it real quick and see what we get out of it, you know, before I actually end the video. I'm like, I've already done the outro, so I don't, I don't need to do it again. Although I'll probably do it again just because I always I can do it, right? Jeez. And let's make more books out of that. Looks like I can make three more. So I can make one more bookshelf or I can enchant three books. What do I want to do? Enchant three books, make one more bookshelf. I feel like I'd rather make two more bookshelves, but we can't afford that just yet. So let's, let's enchant two books. Or maybe I'll enchant all three books and see if I can combine them together and get anything good. Let's grab the lapis. We have 25 levels. This isn't even fully upgraded, like, just yet. So I don't think it really matters, honestly. Uh, 14 right there. Sharp oh, the sharpest two right there. Not bad. What do we have for this one? Bane of Arthropods? Aqua Affinity? Huh. I, I, I'm like, I have enough diamonds to start making diamond, uh, helmet, leggings, boots. How many do I have, though? Hold on. Golly, I said I literally already did the outro. I'm still going here, you guys. I have 11 diamonds. Do I want to... Kind of thinking about getting that sharpness 2 and getting sharpness 3 on our sword, you guys. That seems like it'd be really good, especially for defending ourselves. Let's do... Do we still have that? Yes, we do. Okay, 3 lapis, 3 enchantment levels. Let's do it. There we go. Alright, so now we have that, and let's go combine that together with a sword here in just a bit, but let's see what else we get. Fire aspect, ooh, and a protection one, but we have protection two on our uh, chest piece already. I like that fire aspect, you guys. Adding that to the sword with sharpness, what, three? Uh, yeah, we have sharpness two right there if we, yeah, yeah, we're going to have sharpness three with fire aspect one. I sp <laughs> probably should have, <laughs> probably should have had this before I killed all those chickens, then we would have had cooked chicken. Let's do it. This is only three lapis, three enchantment, let's do it. That was a pretty good enchantment right there, you guys. Fire protection, power two, sharpness one. What do we have on our bow or crossbow right now? Piercing one and breaking one. I guess we can give it power two. We don't really have anything on it right now that's, you know, crazy, so let's do that. There you go. All right, but maybe next episode, uh, we'll start enchanting some diamond armor or something, because now we're finally starting to get some good enchantments, starting to use the, uh, the levels. And speaking of such, we're going to use even more levels here in just a moment. Let's get ourselves the sharpness three. There we go, diamond sword. Let's get fire aspect on that as well. Sharpness three, fire aspect one. We're starting to get some pretty good stuff here, you guys. Crossbows to add power two to that. Can you not do it to crossbows? Maybe only to bows. Oh, I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, because crossbow, you know, it's, it's not like a manual thing. Well, you still have to like pull it back and load it, you know, but it makes sense that you can't put on a crossbow. It seems like you can't. Yeah, although I do want to make an actual bow anyways, so that might actually be worth making here, you guys. Let's see if we can do that. Literally like heckin' post credits footage here of me still playing the game. I'm not addicted, I swear. Let's grab some string. Do we not have string? I don't have string. What? Uh, is it over here? Did I just not bring it over? Uh, okay, okay. Sheesh, I would have been like freaking out like, oh my gosh. I'm like 20 something episodes in. I only have string. <laughs> let's grab a, there you go. Let's make a bow. There you go. Let's get a little bit of power one to add to this bad boy. There you go, power one bow. All right, that's going to be great against like ghasts and stuff. Because I don't know how good the crossbow is at like killing ghasts. Because you, I'm mean, like, you do have to like reload it and stuff. And of course, the bow you just kind of pull back and just kind of have a little bit of control as to whenever you you actually shoot it. While with the crossbow, you have to actually load it beforehand and then shoot it. Although like it does have that cool thing of already being loaded and you can just shoot it like right now. Well, there you go. Now it's loaded and then just shoot it whenever. Is it going to go? Oh, there you go. I was hitting the wrong button. <laughs> But yeah, I like they do have their uses. It'd be good to have both of them in my inventory, just, uh, just to have them. 
But there we go, that's going to be good. But for right now, I, I guess I'll just actually end the video, like I said, like 10 minutes ago, so... <laughs> already did the outro, so I'm not going to do it again, so thank you guys all very much for watching. I'll see you guys here next time with some more Minecraft Hardcore Season 1. Oh, bye there.